In Bend, Oregon, the waiting is nearly over. Right on schedule, Thomas Beatty, the pregnant man, is experiencing his first contractions. Wow, it's really weird. He goes from, I'm fine, to zoom, and then it starts to taper off. Fun, fun, fun. It's like somebody's got some sort of pain dial, and they go, crank, and then, then they slowly let it off. What defines a man? Yeah. Well, it's not having babies. Men don't have babies. Women have babies. Men raise them. So what do you think of this guy saying, I'm the world's first pregnant? You know what? I think it's pretty sick shit myself. That's not what we're about. And to have something like this happen in our town is truthfully bizarre. Thomas had become a legal man, albeit one with a womb and eggs. But to fertilize them, he needed some sperm. <laughs> the baby. I didn't know you were doing that. Yeah, there's a couple of online sites where they allow you to look through the donor catalogs. We were looking for somebody tall, somebody with my color eyes, and, um, yeah, it's smart. Yeah. Okay, this is half a person. You kind of have to follow special instructions on how to handle it. We just pulled it out of this. This is liquid nitrogen and it was stored down there. It's kind of like working with, I don't know, some sort of nuclear thing. <laughs> That's what it was like, right, the first time? It's a big production, really. <laughs> it's kind of scary. We're heating it up. Temperature is, what temperature is it? It's 99 degrees. And then you pipe it into a, a needleless syringe and, um, Inseminate yourself. <laughs> the entire thing just stick up there. Yep. You are it, it happened right here, right in this spot. I really hope I'm pregnant. Well, I knew instantly that it worked. <laughs> it's a little odd. I mean, I, I just felt nauseous immediately and vomited. <laughs> Becoming pregnant meant that Thomas's reproductive organs had to become fully functional again. But for that to happen, Thomas had to stop taking his male hormone treatment. After I stopped doing my testosterone, my body immediately started to change. And especially during this pregnancy, I feel like my, my muscle is just melting off of my body. Because uh, before, um, when I make a muscle in the mirror, I mean, I still have some muscle, but it's, it's probably half the size it used to be. Like, I used to have um, pecs. I used to have um, pretty, pretty big pecs. And, and they're, they're kind of melting away as well. I mean, I can still kind of move them, but the, it's nowhere near as impressive as it used to be. <laughs> but that's just one of the things that I accepted when I decided to get pregnant. Yeah. Like being off my testosterone, my voice has climbed probably an octave or so. Um, when I go back on my testosterone, it'll probably deepen. I've actually spoken to a lot of men that said that they would carry a baby if they could. You know, if their wife were unable to carry a child, and they were, they would absolutely carry their child, and they wouldn't consider themselves any more female. You know, they're, they're a husband or, you know, a father providing for their family, which is the way I see myself. The moment Thomas has been waiting nine months for is fast approaching. I've seen the, the pain of the contractions heighten, so I can only imagine how high it's going to go. But I'm... I'm totally prepared for this. I'm totally ready. I just, I'm, I'm anxious because I know it's coming and um, I just want to see her. I just, I want to hold her in my arms. I should go now while I'm not having Yeah, one. I think. <laughs> the Beatties head to the hospital. Thomas plans to give birth naturally, but because of the deals he signed, also present will be an agency photographer, a guy who's helping them write a book, our film crew, and a couple of midwives. Here we go. This is the most peaceful birthing process. I can't believe it. What you, you expected screaming, huh? Well, everybody. He's say anything. He's taking it like a man, as they say. You know, yeah, he's sounds... manning up for sure. Yeah, exactly. With the baby's arrival imminent, Thomas and Nancy want some privacy, and the room is cleared of crew. Let's get the mirror. 
medical. Yeah, we'll get that. Thank you. But they allow us to leave one camera recording. We need to have a baby, Thomas. After half an hour, excellent, excellent, excellent. the tape runs out. The only camera now recording is Thomas and Nancy's. After several hours in labor, the midwife is concerned the baby is experiencing difficulty. This is 157. Okay, thanks. As extra staff arrive, the hospital insists filming is stopped. Nancy, I'm going to turn this off, okay? okay. Yeah. Which way? How? Push everybody. The moment the pregnant man gives birth goes unrecorded. But after 13 hours in hospital, Thomas has given birth to a nine pound, five ounce baby girl. Our crew is let back in. I'm not the pregnant man anymore. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. I feel incredible. This is the happiest moment of my life. <laughs> she had a couple of complications, and it was almost a possibility I was going to have a C-section. She was very stressed inside of me, and uh, luckily that, that didn't have to happen. And she's, she's doing okay right now. Were you able to go natural? I gave birth naturally. Did it hurt? It hurt like hell. Despite his joy, Thomas's ordeal is not over. He now has to deal with a world desperate to get a first glimpse of the pregnant man's baby.